welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be going over why i started trade happy um and some of the thought process that went into um why i made it and some of the goals that i have for trade happy so i hope you enjoy the video uh if you want to support us over on patreon you can do in the description uh once we reach 50 people that are supporting us over on patreon we're going to be giving away a free sixty thousand dollar funded trader account um to one of those 50 people so make sure to go over there and support us um hit the like button if you enjoy this video and if you have any questions drop them in the comments below and i will get back to you so have a good day uh, enjoy the video and i will see you in the next one i guess the soul of trade happy you know that might be quite weird um but like the the reason for me making trade happy was for one reason really and i thought that the trading industry as a whole was just disgusting i thought it was horrible um like you're, you, the the trading industry um when i came into it was really just like the, the way that i imagined it was it might be a little bit um one-sided i guess but the way that i imagined it was you know mum or dad's or father mother their dream of getting out of a nine to five that they hate being able to um, spend time with their kids and provide a good life for their kids and you then have people that show lamborghinis and money and you know that lifestyle and you say here mum here dad you can have this you can you can provide for your family if you give me a thousand pounds to take my course right and it's dangling that little um carrot i guess in front of desperate people that want to do good and provide um you know provide a good life for their family you're dangling this in front of them saying come on you can get it when really they know that the chances that they're going to get it are very very slim um and i just thought it was just disgusting and i thought um that was the original thing and then it kind of developed as well into um my own personal experiences with trading and how stressful it is um you know no one really talks about how stressful trading is and how damaging it can be on on you and the people around you right i know for me um i've like i've uh so my girlfriend's obviously sat next to me and i'm taking a trade or whatever it doesn't work out and then i punch something i'll um get angry or whatever not anymore obviously but when i first started trading i would or i did anyway the majority of my money into trading thinking that it's easy and it would blow up and it would blow up and it would blow up and every single time it blew up it was just like why are you doing that like it it, it would just it would just hurt so bad um because it's like you know you, your 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 parents um you know your parents are struggling financially and you're just you know throwing money away because you think that you can trade um and that was just so so horrible um so you know combining all these things together trading was just horrible like on the emotional side of it, it was just horrible um and it was really really tough to not slip into depression um and i think there's there's so many traders out there that go through that you know you don't want to admit it but there's a lot of traders that go through that um and the reason you don't hear from them is because they don't want anything to do with trading anymore because it's just destroyed them um and i just think that's it, it's so sad because people come into trading with dreams and they just leave with just um being destroyed really so 
combining um, that with uh, how horrible I thought the industry was, the goal for Trade Happy when I set up was just to give um, give people another option, give give people um, a home where they can go and say, "Hey, everyone, I have been." struggling with um, anxiety, depression, stress, uh, mental health, because of trading, can anyone help? And the, the kind of goal that I had was um, people can go into a chat, say that, and get positive feedback. Um, now, the more... The more... Um, trade happy grows the harder I'm finding it to do that um, because obviously you're getting people that and they've been trading for two weeks they think it's easy and they're like why are you why are you getting upset right why why are you um, blah 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 um, this isn't this isn't about me by the way I'm talking just in general so I think um, yeah, Trade Hobby was really just a, a place where traders can go and be, be okay with not being okay, right? And get support for that. And then on top of that, they can get real advice from not me, right? I'm not a, a, a good trader. I'm not, um, I'm not making a living from trading. I'm not, um... I'm not saying I'm amazing at trading and you should listen to me. Um, the the kind of YouTube um, channel is more of just documenting my process and giving, um, almost forwarding information that I've uh, collated over the years. That was really what the YouTube channel was for. Um, so yeah, that was really, that was really why I made it. Um, and I hope it can, can I hope the, the core value of the business can stay like that um, as, it, as it grows. But um, yeah. Yeah, I, I've spoken with um, very, very, not very very big but um like i've spoken with ceos and cfos that are running um seven figure a month businesses here in the uk and the the thing that they kind of said to me was um this this was um before trade happy was a thing so i basically went to them to say i'm having an idea what do you think of the idea and they said, um, you know, it's a good idea. But just remember, if it grows, just remember why you why you made the business, right? Um, remember why you're starting it, because that is the most important thing. 